In this video we're going to apply a filter to the repeater using a drop down. Let's say we want to filter by authors. I would usually suggest you add generic functionality like this into the widget via the widget library. This way you have it in the bank for your other projects. But for the purposes of the demo we're going to do it here in the book project file. We're in the base view in the page one state of the content dynamic panel. We have our repeater here rendering for us nicely. We're going to move the repeater down 50 pixels or so to give us room for a drop down. From the default library we will drag out a drop list widget. Let's name the drop list author filter. We'll double click to edit the new drop list. We will add a all item so we can select to view all the books. This one will be the default item. We'll add another one for Lewis and another for Jules. We're on first name terms. OK. Let's add an author label so we're accessible. OK, we want filtering to happen when we change the author dropdown. So we're going to add some interaction to the on selection change event. Double click the event to open the case editor. We need to add a condition that looks at what option has been selected. Selected option of this. Note use of the this keyword to refer back to the widget that the case is being added to. equals option all OK. Let's add a case description for this display all authors. Now if the user selects all we're not actually adding a filter we'll be removing any existing filters to show the whole data set. Down here, under Repeater Actions, you'll find Remove Filter. And we want to remove the filter from our Media List Repeater. As you can see down here, we can check this checkbox to remove all filters, or we can remove a specific filter by name. Yes, we name filters when we create them. That's coming up. For now, we're just going to check Remove All. OK. Nothing to test yet. What we've just done won't have any effect because no filters are currently applied. Let's add another case. This case will be called Display Lewis. Add condition. Selected option of this equals Lewis Carroll. OK, this time we'll find Add Filter under the Repeater Actions. Again, we select the Media List Repeater. This time we need to name the filter. This is necessary so we can refer to a filter to remove or change it as interactions occur. Let's call it the Author Filter. Now we'll add a rule Click the FX button to open the Edit Value dialog. Again, we'll use Insert Variable or Function. In here, we'll find Item.Source, which contains our author's names listed here under the repeater slash dataset functions. Now, it's worth pointing out this could be a little confusing. Uh, that the value has a generic name like source. We should really have renamed this column author in the data set when we started customizing the media list. But that is just something you may want to do to keep yourself sane in future projects. Now we're going to click OK. We're not 
done with this value yet but I want to refer to the example that Axia gives us here below the rule field item.state equals equals C a for those familiar with programming constructs and operators you'll know the pair of equal signs indicates equivalence what this example rule is doing is matching all items where a hypothetical state column in our data set contains the value C a indicating California we're now going to copy the syntax from this example syntax another technical term syntax just means the format essentially we're going to copy the way the rule is formatted if you want to get into advanced interaction in Axia you will need to learn programming concepts like this so we simply add a couple of equal signs here and enclose the string we want to match Lewis Carroll in single quotation marks I just used the word string here technical term I know all it means is a bunch of letters or numbers that we work with when creating and manipulating logic okay let's see if this works if you've typed the string correctly all items in the data set where the source value equals the Lewis Carroll string should be showing okay great now we will add the last case this will help you understand why we name the filters we'll add a case description of display jewels and add a condition yes you've guessed it selected option of this equals jewels Vern we'll add a filter select the media list repeater widget now we're going to add the same filter name as we did before author this is because these operations are interdependent it's one or the other it's the same drop down operating on the same data set so by having the same name it's easier to keep track of and remove if necessary now we'll add the filter much the same as the last one but we want to match a different string this time so following our example here but this time we're looking for Jules Verne let's press F5 to test okay Jules seems to be working nicely but oh what's this when we select Lewis everything disappears we have a problem let's investigate what's actually happening is that the filter is combining if one has been applied the second is combined removing all the results in this data set this is powerful stuff but it isn't what we intended so what we need to do is remove the existing author filter we added previously before we apply a new filter luckily this is easy we want a remove filter action and logically we want the remove action to occur first before we apply a new filter so we're going to drag it above we need to check the media list repeater and we want to remove the author filter so we'll type it here by name this time this filter name is case sensitive so be aware okay we need to do the same for the display jewels case also remove filter author okay let's check this out in a preview F5 
there it's working perfectly and there we have it uh, a basic author filter set up you can follow similar logic for creating sorts as well uh, you can consider that your homework we've covered a lot of ground again here we've created a responsive media list widget for the responsive framework we created in the last section we customized it for our book e-commerce project and we learned how to load images into the repeater we also learned how to filter the repeater widget with a drop list okay great next up we're going to create a product detail page for one of our books